Hey y'all, welcome back for another GI question of the day. Today our question says, the nurse has taught a client with peptic ulcer disease who has a new prescription for omeprazole. Which of the following statements by the client would require follow-up? So we are looking for a statement by the client that is incorrect, something we don't want them to do um, or you know, indicates a lack of understanding. So option one says, I should limit my intake of foods that are high in calcium. Uh, this is gonna be our correct answer um, because it's an incorrect statement. So with omeprazole and other proton pump inhibitors um, or PPIs, we, we know that long-term use can increase the risk for fractures, osteoporosis, those kind of things. Um, so we actually want these clients to intake, um, increase their intake of calcium and vitamin D. So, um, that can be with supplements, foods, and whatnot. So we definitely want them to increase that just to help kind of mitigate that risk for osteoporosis. Um, option two says, I can take the medication immediately before I eat breakfast. Um, and this is an incorrect option because it's a correct statement. Uh, we wanna take uh, this medication maybe 30 minutes right before breakfast, something like that, um, just so we can help kind of suppress that acid production um, and time that with when we eat, right? Because you know when we eat food, we increase acid production to kind of help break all that down. Uh, option three says I should take acetaminophen instead of ibuprofen if I am experiencing pain. Uh, this is an incorrect option because it's a correct statement. So we want to encourage the use of acetaminophen, acetaminophen versus ibuprofen or other NSAIDs like naproxen um, or aspirin, those kind of things. Um, we also want to avoid things like alcohol um, that can further irritate our stomach um, and can increase the risk of bleeding you know, when we have peptic ulcer disease. Option four says, I will notify my healthcare provider if I develop symptoms of a respiratory infection. Um, and this is an incorrect option because it's a correct statement. Again, um, when we take omeprazole or other proton pump inhibitors as well, um, we are at increased risk for pneumonia and other respiratory infections. So we want to definitely report any of those symptoms to the healthcare provider. So anything like a uh, productive or worsening cough, fever, shortness of breath, those kind of things, we definitely want to um, notify the healthcare provider about. So hopefully that helped you guys and we'll see you tomorrow.